I have had some very strange UFO dreams. I don't know what to call them other than to call them dreams, even though they felt very real. This one particular alien dream happened in the 1990s. I lived on a small lake just outside of Minocqua, Wisconsin. Minocqua was a small town and we were far enough away that the lights didn't impact the night sky. There weren't a lot of homes on the lake and half of the lake was just nature and wildlife. On this particular night, there was no moon and the night was almost completely dark. It was quiet with a billion stars glistening overhead. We had a wide hammock attached to two big trees that stood between the cabin and the lake. One night, we decided to sleep outside. It was a beautiful night filled with a billion stars reflecting on the clear, still lake. We fell asleep to the gentle rocking of the hammock, snuggled under a thick blanket. Sometime later, something woke me up completely out of sleep. I was immediately wide awake. In front of me were three nuns standing on the sidewalk by our house. They were about 30 feet away from our hammock. The three figures wore long black robes that covered them from head to toe. The only thing I could see of them were their faces. At first, I thought they were nuns. They were fuzzy and out of focus because I wasn't wearing my glasses. Their faces were a glowing white and extremely egg-shaped with the pointy side down. I couldn't see a nose, but I saw their mouths were tiny and they had huge cat-like eyes that glowed red. I became terrified, but at the same time, I kept thinking they were nuns visiting me even though I am not a religious person. Why would nuns be visiting in the middle of the night? I remember thinking. I shook my husband and whispered, wake up, wake up. But he just kept sleeping. I whispered to him again, trying to wake him up. The three terrifying nuns stood there and stared at us. They never moved or said anything. They just stood on the sidewalk and stared. Then, oddly enough, I gave up trying to wake him up. I pulled the blanket over my head and immediately fell asleep. I woke up in the morning with the vivid memory of the event and all the fear came back. It felt so real and vivid. It did not feel like a dream. But I couldn't be sure that it really happened. People who have been abducted say that aliens have the ability to control our minds. Many people have reported having encounters with alien beings that can create a feeling of distorted reality. It has been coined the Oz factor by ufologists. For example, Many UFO encounters include stories of people seeing huge white owls looking in their windows. Huge meaning three or four feet tall. Or they see enormous white cats staring at them. They also feel as though it's not a clear image, as though what they're seeing is distorted, like looking through hazy glass. It is claimed that aliens can distort our perceptions of reality, something that has been termed screen memory. For example, in the book, The Messengers, Owls, Synchronicity, and the UFO Abductee by Mike Cleland, an encounter happened to Corina Sabals and her family as they were heading home at night. In the book, she said that she and her children were driving slowly around a bend. When up ahead, they saw an alien gray standing in the road. She slammed on the brakes. Sibals said she and her children began shaking uncontrollably from fear. 
but her husband remained calm and asked her why they were so worried. It was just a big owl. The aliens also seem to have the ability to make people forget the encounter completely, which is what happened to Betty and Barney Hill. One of the most famous abduction cases in the United States and the one that brought the UFO abduction phenomenon to the public eye. If you haven't heard of Betty and Barney Hill, their story is written in a wonderful book called Captured. Captured. The Betty and Barney Hill UFO Experience. The true story of the world's first documented alien abduction. The aliens who abducted the Hills were able to make them forget everything that had happened. But the memories started coming to the surface in nightmares. The Hills ended up seeking a hypnotherapist to help them learn what had happened to them. They recovered memories of being on a spaceship and of being put through medical tests, among other things. And now that the Hills are both gone, tapes of their actual hypnosis sessions can be found online. I didn't tell my husband about the alien nuns. I knew that he would tell me that it was just a dream. He had no belief in such things. I can't say that it was real, but I can't say that it wasn't. Maybe someday I will do a hypnosis session and see if there is anything there. If you have had a strange UFO experience, we would love to share them with our viewers. Send them to the email in the description box. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And until next time, have a magical day in the strange paranormal world we live in.